Okay, the next part of the practical, we're actually going to look at displaying colour displays rather than just this black and white grayscale stuff that we've been looking at so far. So what I'm going to do is I'll keep this, this display group one up at the moment um, and all I need to do first of all is change this radio button in the available bands list from grayscale over to RGB color. So if I click on that one to start with you'll now see that I have an option for red, green and blue bands to be displayed in the in the display group. We're going to go a little bit more into colour later on in this practical and also we'll be talking about it a lot more through the semester because this is one of the critical things that you need to get used to working with. But first of all, just take my word for it here to say that all I need is the colour bands red, green and blue to display any colour that I like. Now what I'm going to do here is with the red radio button ticked here, I'm going to click on band 3. Okay, and you'll see that it says red, band 3 is now listed as red. It will then automatically move on to the green radio button, um, and I'm going to click on band 2 for that because I know that band 2 is, is green in Landsat imagery. And for the, for the blue radio button, I'm going to click on band 1. So once you've got that and looks, once you've set that up and yours looks exactly like this, so you go band 3, band 2, band 1, as RGB, we'll click load RGB. And what you see now is the same Landsat image, but it looks pretty much how you would see things if you, if you were flying over, over this particular area. Okay, so features that are green, trees, etc., look green in your image. Features that are blue, like water, look blue in your image. And I can move in and around the image again as well, have a look at different urban areas, and you'll find it's probably a lot easier to interpret the image now that you see it in colour. Okay, so you can see exactly what fields look like when they're vegetated versus when, when they don't have vegetation on them, they're a lot browner. Um, we've got some fire scars down in the south here, these really dark patches got a few of those. Um, we've got some waterways. This waterway here has um, probably got a lot of sediment in it. It's reflecting a lot of light compared to some of the deeper water areas for example. And we've got some a range of deep to shallow water through here. Now this is part of the practical where it's really important for you also to have a play at looking at different band combinations. So I said we did a 3-2-1 as RGB here, having a look at how this will look as a true colour composite. The next most common band display that people often use is a 432. So if I was to do this, red radio button, click on band 4, green radio button, band 3, blue radio button, band 2, and go load RGB. Our image looks really different. What you see now is come, in, come to an area where you might be a little bit familiar with now. We've got Darwin downtown area, a lot of mangroves in here, and where you would expect those to be green, they're now coloured red. And this is because we're looking at near infrared light. 